Okay, so something that most people, I think, struggle with that do YouTube. Sound mixing. Actually, sound design also, but mainly sound mixing. So sound mixing is basically when you mix all the levels and you uh, kind of set the tone, you clean up audio, you do all those things uh, in order for your film to sound the best it can. Yeah. And uh, you also set the levels like music, uh, how high should that be uh, in comparison to the dialogue and, and all those things. And often what you need to care the most about, that is hearability. Like, can you hear what they're saying, basically? But then the other aspect of it is the sound design, which is how do you set a character and a story telling tone in your um, project? Now, this is the Confused African trailer, so it's not that advanced in terms of how you mix it and how you sound design it. it actually, the sound design can be super advanced and all that, but we're gonna start to look at like how we did the trailer and then you know that's gonna be applied to the whole project. So the thing is, when you start to kind of structure a project for sound mixing, there's a couple of things you need to keep in mind. Uh, dialogue, for instance, is usually mono uh, tracks. So that's because it's going to be centered in the audio mix, for instance. Stereo is two channels. Um, and if you mix 5-1, you usually have mono audio in certain channels depending on how you want it to sound or you have 5-1 or you know you can have all types of mixes actually when we mixed the Pearl of Africa I think both actually Sir Silence and the Pearl of Africa they were mixed in 5-1 uh, which is the surround sound that traditionally was being used in the in the cinema uh, but this is just stereo mixing, so then it's mainly gonna be working with stereo tracks and mono tracks. And the difference is that it's centered when it's mono and when it's stereo, it's the two tracks. So first off, I'm gonna name my tracks. So this first track is gonna be DX1, which is gonna be Dialogue 1. And then this is the music, so MX1, that's gonna be stereo. Atmosphere, I usually want to keep at stereo, but then FX, I usually want to have in mono. So atmosphere is basically like if you have a city or anything like that, or maybe you have FX, which is a door slamming or something like that. Okay, so dialogue, mono, atmosphere, stereo, music, stereo, FX, mono is how I like it. Okay, so that's first step, naming those. Then you need to clean everything up. So essentially you want to have the same type of microphone uh, on the same track. So you want to separate whatever it is that's dialogue that isn't the same one. So I'm gonna add a couple of tracks. Okay, now we got that cleaned up. Now, Ideally you would have you know one effect on all of these tracks and and everything would be fine and all that But it, it isn't that simple. So what you need to do is basically If you go into Fairlight, which is a very powerful audio mixing tool for uh, DaVinci Resolve, you got something called bus format so what you want to do essentially is create one bus for each type of track that you have. So I'll make, okay, so submix four of them. First one is going to be DX. DX. Second one is going to be Atmo for atmosphere. Third one is going to be uh, FX for FX. And the fourth one is going to be MX for MX. And then you want to have the first one in mono, stereo, mono, stereo. And then you want to change the colors of these. So maybe we take orange for Atmo, navy for... No, sorry, orange for DX, navy for Atmo, pink for FX, 
and chocolate for MX. That is it. And then you want to change these two. This is just for organization, but it's good to have proper organization when you do many tracks and it gets messy quickly. Here's the sub mixes. And what you need to do essentially is use these submix layers here. So we know that the orange ones are the dialogue tracks, navy ones are the Atmo tracks, pink is FX and chocolate is uh, the, uh, the MX music one. So music is submix 4, this one. So you want to just click that one and mix it to that one. This one is 3, submix 3, because it's pink and it's FX. And then the Atmos one is 2, because it's yeah, 2. And then this is the first one. So now you've essentially connected all these tracks that you have here to the submixes. So what I want to do now, this is some uh, just compressor that was added on this for just be able to hear it while editing. Okay, so now it's all clean. I'm gonna save. And then what I'm gonna do first is just add some uh, dynamics and uh, EQ to the um, uh, dialogue one. Oh, I missed this one. Okay, let's just do this music thing first because that's uh, kind of interesting. So first, let's go into the EQ of the music uh, submix. So this one. Now, most dialogue is in this area here, around 1K on an equalizer. So you want to remove that in music in general if you want to have, you know, like the talk and dialogue stuff be uh, hearable. I thought it was it would be good to to see what Uganda has to offer. And my mom always told me that you guys complain about Africa. She said, "Well, how are you going to complain when you're not going to be a part of the solution?" So I'm just because this is a quick mix. I'm just going to apply that to uh, the whole sub mix. So all the music. If I add more music layers, I'm just going to have to click, you know, four, and then that's going to map. To this one and that's gonna be removed so that's all I'm gonna do basically on the music layer but I also want to change so that uh, all the music is maximum 10 dB minus 10 dB because I don't want it to be louder than that FX pretty much gonna be the same and Atmo pretty much gonna be the same Dialogue is going to be uh, just like minus 0.1 and then I'm going to put the main mix to minus 2 I think So that's it. That's all I'm going to do there uh, Just to have like proper levels to everything and what's going to happen now is that I'm going to have to go through all the Atmo and FX layers and, and change so that actually maybe I can just go into it quickly and just copy paste this is save and then let's see here if we just change the Atmo one like this is a layer that's at minus 20 dB but because the whole submix is minus uh, 10 I'm just gonna put minus 10 on these and then I'm gonna put that on everything on the Atmo layer and the FX layer and then I will while I mix it I, I might you know make it louder and all that but it's good to have you know a starting point which is everything is even and yeah all that 